Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to take the time really quick to thank you so much for these four humans. And as this family goes through some major upgrades over the next six months with these next two additions, I just pray that you continue to bless our closeness and in our relationships. I'm losing it, so just thank you for everything. And your son, Jesus' name. Amen. What do you say? Don't Amen. Start crying now. I know. Back it up. Back it up. Back okay. It up. Are we ready? Let's do it. The first day I walked in at the University of Alabama, Coach Bryant says, the one thing I'll never forget all my life, you win with your family. Grandma, Kitty, and the grand grandkids. You win with your family. And I've never forgotten that. And, and the great thing that I see here today is two great families and the joining of you guys. I'm Wes. I am uh, Callie's little brother. Very single little brother. <laughs> when I first met Wit, he, uh, all he talked about was how he's a big Auburn fan. He loved college football. And he's like, well, you know, I'll, I'll never get married during football season. And Callie says, hey, we're getting married in October, and Witt's over there firing up the church bells. I was like, well, that's crazy. That's weird, Witt. Thinking, what happened to Mr. Billy Badass back there, Witt? <laughs> it's on a Friday. <laughs> now, it would be a shame if I got up here and I didn't tell any stories about Callie. So, growing up, I think if you, if you graded out all of us kids, me, Ellie, and Callie, I think when we, in terms of listening to my parents, I probably graded out like a 70%. Uh, Ellie was that kid who got an A. You have no, you have no clue how she got the A. She never showed up to class, but she, she graded out well. Callie, uh, Callie was pulling at a strong 12% with my parents. For anyone that knows Callie and I, you know that we are practically the complete opposite. Callie is a party planner. I'm a party attendee. Callie is loud and rambunctious. I am quiet and reserved. I'm glad you made it. She thrives in big crowds and public speaking, and I enjoy being with no more than four people. It wasn't until Callie left for college that both Wes and I felt a weird and uncomfortable void that no longer having our big sister at home. I quickly realized all of Callie's qualities that are so widely different from mine are all the same reasons that I love and look up to her so much. <laughs> oh, well, I gotta be ready at 145. Well, I gotta be ready at 145. Because then I'm gonna be ready and then we're gonna see each other and it's gonna be a moment. There is a method. <laughs> I need a lot of help. <laughs> I do love Callie and uh, although I am tough on her, I, I do love her very much. And uh, we got a very unique family. There's a lot of us in this family. She <laughs> said I could talk, just not a <laughs> Don't look away. And um, there's not many people I, I, I say I look up to in life, but you know, I, I think there's a few people we wish could be here. I mean, we both wish that both of our granddaddies could be here tonight. And uh, we wish uh, Callie's best friend could be here tonight, Anne Marie. I think that was pretty tough a couple years ago when we lost her. I don't think uh, any of us can ever kind of describe how, how tough Callie is and how she's always been that way. I'm thankful for you. I'm glad you're doing it first, and uh, 
you're kind of showing us all the way, the right way to do it. Okay, so wait, what was that? It was lawnmowers first. Two pumps. Two pumps. Two pumps. And then you drop. Sprinkler. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Through the years, Callie began to open up to me much more about her life and her searches for finding her right person. Callie has undoubtedly had her ups and her downs. And then something incredible happened. Don't you start crying. <laughs> Callie took a hiatus from dating and began focusing on growing her relationship with the Lord. As anyone with a sister knows, all you ever want is for her to be happy. So to watch her transform into this strong, independent, and happy woman was a remarkable thing to witness. After reaching this point of happiness, Callie would oftentimes say that she was totally fine being on her own and that she would never need a man in her life. <laughs> and maybe she was right. <laughs> but I knew. <laughs> oh my God, stop it. When I knew there was somebody out there for her, somebody great, and somebody to really throw a kink in a good way in her life. The first time Wit saw me, um, I was actually working a wedding in Gunnersville. He had grown up with the bride and he was a guest and he was asking, like, do you know who that is standing back there working the wedding? And that's where he saw me for the first time. You're you guys look so good. Well, it's not about us. You guys. You've truly found the person that you've always talked about, which she used to sit on the couch and just go on and on and on about how she knew that person was there. It's beautiful. So I got him cufflinks made with the Kenny Chesney No Shoes Nation flag on him because he's obsessed. I mean, I've said it several. Yeah, no, I've said it several times before that if we're both in a burning building, he's going after Kenny Chesney, and I, <laughs> it's fine. I totally accepted it. Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's your third picture. We're nice dogs. <laughs> One more. You do look so good. Wit, I knew you before I ever met you. I didn't know your face, but I prayed specifically for the kind of man I wanted for Callie. So when you showed up in the flesh, you were just a manifestation of my prayers. And from the minute you asked for Callie's hand, I considered you one of mine. give you this ring as a symbol of my vow as a symbol of my vow <laughs> and with all that I am and with all that I have and all that I have and all that I have I honor you I honor you when Wit came into Callie's life I started to realize that my role as her sister would begin to change I once was the person who needed to lift her up and remind her of her worth and value and she no longer needed me for that your qualities are everything Callie needs in a partner I've seen you make my sister laugh when she thinks the sky is falling. Every day? <laughs> yes, every day. <laughs> I've seen you work your absolute hardest to make her happy. I see you level her out when she's being dramatic, which is also every day. <laughs> I've seen you challenge her when she's being absolutely ridiculous, which is also every day. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. David Whitaker Reed.
actually have a guy who always speaks to us. You know, he always ends his speeches with our teams, you know, just be where your feet are. And if I could give y'all any advice, it would just be that. Through this whole weekend, throughout this whole process y'all go through, is just be where your feet are. Be right there with each other.